Don't let their common name fool you. Though these snakes are called cobras, they're not classified in the true cobra genus. In fact, king cobras are classified in a genus all their own, and are the only living species in that genus. These snakes get their royal name because they eat other cobras. Thus, they're the kings of the cobras. Compared to the true cobras, king cobras are larger and have bulkier heads. King cobras live in forests, bamboo thickets, mangrove swamps, and agricultural fields. They prefer places near water where humidity levels remain consistent. King cobras spend some of their time in trees and are considered semi-arboreal. Unlike some other venomous snakes, king cobras are more active during the day. The name king suits them, because they're the longest living venomous snakes. King cobras can max out at 18 feet in length, though on average they reach 11 feet long. Their venom is strong enough to take down an adult elephant with a single potent bite, though it should be noted that these snakes aren't hostile unless they're defending themselves or protecting their nest. If threatened, a king cobra will raise the first third of its body off the ground, open its hood, and hiss. This hiss is described as similar to a dog's growl. Mm -hmm. Considering their length, a king cobra could potentially look a full-grown human in the eyes when taking this stance. A king cobra's bite causes paralysis, which leads to cardiac arrest and asphyxiation, though anti-venom can reduce the risk of death. A king cobra's hood is made of flexible ribs, much like true cobra species. Their threat display is often associated with snake charmer imagery. Like other snakes, king cobras don't have external ears, and thus are unable to actually hear a charmer's music. Instead, the snake focuses on the end of the instrument. Often, these snakes are kept in poor conditions or even mutilated to produce a so-called safer performance. King cobras are vulnerable to extinction. Along with hunting by humans, they are impacted by habitat loss. King cobras take care of their young. Male king cobras wrestle each other for a female's affection. The female constructs a nest by pushing together leaves and other organic debris into a pile. She'll lay upward of 40 eggs in the nest, and then perch herself on top of it to keep her eggs safe. Males have been observed sticking close to the nest until the young hatch a few months later. Baby king cobras are dark with bright banding. Although king cobras are able to eat other venomous snakes, they more often take non-venomous snakes like rat snakes and pythons. In a pinch, they can also eat rodents, other reptiles, and birds. In the wild, king cobras may live to be up to two decades old. For more facts on king cobras, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeakle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to Allie for today's request. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.